Our next sergeant, Samasoni Latu. Just before any rugby game, after you perform the haka, you forget everything your coach has told you. <laughs> so the first 10 minutes of the game, it will be nothing but penalties. Uh, on that note, I just forget everything that I prepared. <laughs> so, uh, so bear with me. Uh, since I started this uh, agency, I've always had a translator for me. Uh, it started in the academy. And every time I either say something or write a statement or instruct, I always have an appointed translator. So I've been looking for one for this occasion, but I just find out that it was only for deputies. And now because I'm a sergeant, I have to wing it. So I know that you have cell phones, so hopefully series and Googles, because we might be using some very expensive English language over here. <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> I know the consensus was to keep it very brief and short, but I was raised, but I was raised differently. <laughs> Today, it's going to brief and short the island way. As you know, the islands, there's no clock. The sun and the moon and the weather is where we tell time. And that's where we get the phrase island time from. So put your phone away because it's going to be a while. Just pretend <laughs> that you're all under a tree, looking up at the skies, and count the birds. <clears throat> I grew up in a very small island of Tonga, and I was raised in a very humble home. It was 20 foot by 20 foot feet long, with no electricity. There was no running water. We have a little kerosene lamp and a little well outside for drinking water and me and my sister. It's a few kilometer walking distance. And there's always, there's always been the life of my stories. I was 17 years old when that window of opportunity cracked open for me. Not only to play the sport that I love, is playing rugby, but also get the opportunity to explore the world. And that led me over here to the United States in the mid-2000s on my mid-20s. My father, my mother taught me four things, and I cannot forget those things because my dad's sitting right there, and I'm gonna get spanked when I get home. <laughs> Even though I'm on my 40s. <laughs> Here in the United States, they call it child abuse. <laughs> but in the islands, we call it discipline. <clears throat> so, number one, my mother taught me to always stay grounded, to be humble. She told me that the lower I stay and level-headed, they're easier for me to find home. Second, she told me to always remember who I am and where I come from. Third, he said along the way, those successes, I want you to stop, turn around and look back, and I want you to acknowledge and thank all those that has contributed to that success. Because it's not about you, it's about who that has contributed for you to accomplish that accomplishment. And last, she told me, son, if you ever accomplish anything, it's never for you to hold, but it's for you to share. 
I have eight siblings. And I know that that window opened at 17 years old, that they were counted on me. So I screwed up. I know I'm going to screw them up. So I took that opportunity and lived me up to the day. So that's why I'm here. And I'm going to thank those that deserve the thinking of today. Service centers, I'm honored. I'm humble. It's a blessing. Not only just to be a law enforcement officer, but to a law enforcement sergeant here in this great uh, agency. Under Sheriff Lucia, Assistant Sheriff Christie and Staza, to all the command staff, the commanders, to captains, and to lieutenants, sergeants, and to my fellow promotees, and to all the deputies of this agency, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for translating for me. Thank you for making the bad guys understand what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and to my captain, Jimmy McGrill. I'm just sweating just saying his name. <laughs> but captain, thank you very much. I know it's uh, one less headache of you, but your leadership, thank you for taking care of me out there. To Lieutenant Lauren Tucker, thank you very much for taking your time, your leadership, and all the help that you have done for me. They let me to my sergeant, Sergeant Mama Bear, Christina Blaylock. Thank you very much. I know it's a less headache, one less headache for you. And you're not gonna get Latu no more. So now you can just relax in your office and you don't have to open up the GPS and look where I'm at. <laughs> and to my dad, who's here with us to make the trip. Thank you for teaching me that the rewards of hard work is more work than I thought then. Like how the heck is more work when you work hard? <laughs> but you taught me that. And thank you very much. I hope I make you proud today. I love you. To my mother, although you were taken from us very too soon, but I know you're up there somewhere smiling at me. I wish you were here so you can witness the rewards of your hard labor. That here you are, your knucklehead little son that I got expelled from high school, but turned out all right. <clears throat> and to my siblings, to my sister Hifo, Siu and Uno, to my brothers Kea, Mahe, Naf and Sione, I hope I be a good example as a big brother. And I love you. You guys are always there on those late calls and those late texts, wherever you at, either you Australia, either you in, still in Tonga, the dime difference, you always answer my call. Thank you, and I love you all. To my four monkeys, and I told them and that's the only reason why I'm still here in America, is to work hard for them. It's my three sons, Osi, Kessie, and Maverick, and to my daughter, Afa. <clears throat> I can't wait, as I always tell them, this body was built for the islands, not to America. <laughs> It was never for here to work and pay bills. This was built to work hard in the plantation, go fish, and call it a day. <laughs> but I loved you guys. Thank you for being there. And to my wife, thank you for very much for letting me come into America. She actually reminded me on my way in, I said, make sure you say proper English. <laughs> I said, I don't care. As long as they can understand me enough, We'll be all right. So I loved you. Thank you very much for keeping home safe. It takes a long time to keep up with me. But you stay there and hang in. Thank you very much. To Mima, thank you for helping up babysitting last minutes. And to all my friends and buddies in the agency, from deputies, you know who you are. Don't be mad at me. And if you do, you better think twice about that. 
because otherwise you're not going to be invited to eat on that big. I like to end it with one of my favorite quotes. When I first started playing rugby, then my coach said it, and I never understand back then, but it sounds good to me. <laughs> As I grow and understand English, I, I finally understand what it meant. And to conclude the speech, I said, at the end of every accomplishment, it's the beginning of another. Thank you very much. In translation, Latu's buying the round. <laughs>